For example 9, we're given that x squared minus x minus 6 is a factor of this expression. We're supposed to find the values of h and k. So here's our h, and here's our k. Okay? Ultimately, we're supposed to factorize the expression completely. Now, the first thing that um, may catch your attention will be that this is a 3x power 4. Okay? It's a power 4 thing. So it um, doesn't matter. Let's just do the same thing as uh, what we have been talking about so far. So the first step is we'll let fx be equal to 3x raised to the power 4 um, plus hx cubed minus 11x squared plus kx minus 12. All right? And since we know that x squared minus x minus 6 is a factor, okay, and we also realize that hey, x squared minus x minus 6 can be factorized to become x minus 3 and x plus 2. Okay? So when this is a if this is a factor, this factorized forms are also factors, isn't it? Therefore, using what we learned for factor theorem, we know that f3, when we substitute in x equals to 3, into our fx, we'll get 0, because it's a factor, right? So 3 times 3 raised to the power 4 plus h multiplied by 3 raised to the power 3 minus away 11 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 2 plus 3k minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, working out these numbers, we will get this is uh, 243 plus 27h minus 99 and of course this will give us 3k minus 12 is equal to 0. So simplifying this, you will, we will end up with um, 27h plus 3k is equal to negative 132. Okay, so this shall be our first equation. The next thing we do is, of course, we substitute in when x is equal to minus 2, isn't it? So we have 3 minus 2 raised to the power of 4 plus h uh, multiplied by minus 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 11 minus 2 raised to the power of 2. Alright, this will give us a negative 2k minus 12 is equal to 0, right? So working this out, get this as 48. Um, 48 minus 8h, okay, and minus 44 minus 2k minus 12 equals to 0. So simplifying, we'll end up with 8h plus 2k is equal to negative 8. So this is our first equation. This is our second equation. We shall call this equation 1, and we call this equation 2. So to solve for h and k is now merely an exercise of um, simultaneous equation. So by using elimination method or substitution method, you can actually get your h and k rather easily. Okay, I shall skip the simultaneous equation part and um, give you the answer to h and k, okay? I mean, I suppose um, this working of simultaneous equation, you can do it on your own. So, let's say, okay, we have the answer, we work it out, we have the answer. h is equal to negative 8, and now uh, we will get k as the answer of um, 28. Okay? So you may want to copy this pair of um, simultaneous equation okay out on a piece of paper and uh, go and try out uh, to solve for h and k to verify the answer here and as well to practice right so after we get h and k uh, we will know that our function is indeed 3x power 4 minus 8x cubed minus 11x square plus 28x minus 12 Okay, because uh, remember that this was our h, 
okay and this was our k so now that we got the h and the k we just have substitute in and we'll get our fx all right so now what is the next thing we have to do <coughs> the next thing we have to do is to factorize the expression completely okay so how do we factorize this um you know power four polynomial into four um different linear factors okay so we can again employ uh, our long division we can use the long division to do it uh, of course uh, that is very long okay so one way you can do this is by using our uh, synthetic division that we have learned early on okay now since we know that um, you know x plus 2 and x minus 3 are factors of the expression okay we can use the synthetic division to find the rest of the factors so again following the rules of synthetic division first thing you do you go by descending order for the powers okay next you copy down the coefficient okay and next you put a plus here and draw a line across and here you put the first factor we shall do x plus 2 first and therefore x value will be negative 2 so the first step we do we bring down the 3 right so 3 multiplied by negative 2 will give us a negative 6 so negative 8 plus negative 6 that will give us a negative 14 isn't it so negative 14 my uh, multiply by 2 negative 2 that will give us a positive 28 so 28 minus 11 that will give us a 17 so 17 multiplied by negative 2 that will give us negative 34 all right and 28 minus 34 will give us negative 6 and uh, lastly negative 6 multiplied by negative 2 will give us a positive 12 and this will become a 0 so again this 0 is for the position uh, of the remainder so uh, after doing this we realize hey, okay good so this is factor double confirms it so how do we do the next factor well we continue do it just one more time okay just do the synthetic division one more time so we put in x equals to 3 here because x minus 3 is the factor so again repeat the same process first bring down the 3 and then 3 multiplied by 3 give me a 9 and 9 minus 14 will give me a negative 5 so negative 5 multiplied by 3 will give me negative 15 so this will give me a 2 isn't it so 2 multiplied by 3 will give me a 6 and you end up with a 0 again confirms that um, x minus 3 is a factor as well okay so now we have to decipher this answer that we have here so since we have done the um, synthetic division twice this three okay will have to move down by two degree so this quotient here is in effect three instead of x power four instead of x power three it is now x power two so it's three x square okay likewise for five five will be five x so it's minus five x okay and of course uh, the two will be the constant so this will be our quotient and of course the rest of our factors will be x minus 3 and of course this is x plus 2 so we know that our fx can be factorized into this form okay but of course um, well this is not the factorized completely this is not factorized completely isn't it so um, to factorize completely we'll have to break down the we have to factorize the quadratic expression here okay um, of which by factorizing you get 3x minus 2 and of course x minus 1 okay so this will be the final answer uh, for us to um, you know factorize completely for the fx